They make these kind of screen capture videos for family Bible time, but I will here because I got a good question on uh, one of my videos that I posted way back during the summertime where I was also reading through Kings. As some of you may know, we're doing First Kings presently as this is being recorded now on this here 20th of January 2011. This video was posted June 23rd, 2010. But here's the question. Why did Solomon seek to kill Adonijah for asking for his daughter for a wife? We actually, Adonijah asked for Abishag. Abishag was the one who they had brought around for, uh, to make King David warm because it says right at the beginning of second kings now king david was old and stricken in years and they covered him with new with clothes but he got no heat actually i think that's yeah that's clothes you know i almost read it as cloths you know i probably the first time i read it last june probably did write, read it as cloths but it says clothes so i actually read it right i forget okay well anyway Therefore his servant said unto him, Let there be sought for my lord the king a young virgin, and let her stand before the king, and let her cherish him, and let her life her lie in his thy bosom, that my lord the king may get heat. So they sought for a fair damsel throughout all the coasts of Israel, and found Abishag, a Shunammite, and brought her to the king. And the damsel was very fair, and cherished the king, and ministered to him, but the king knew her not. I always wonder what it means when it says that she ministered to him. But it says the king knew her not. I know what that means. Of course, we read in uh, Genesis that Adam knew his wife Eve, and they bear a son. Or so, um, but David wouldn't have no part with that. Um. Well, anyway. Adonijah says right away, And then Adonijah, the son of Haggith, exalted himself, saying, I will be king. And he prepared him chariots and horsemen, fifty men, to run before him. How is that interesting? That comes right after the mention of Abishag. Because this is what, Ab this is what Abishag liked about the thought of being king. Hey, look, they went out and they found uh, my father, a, a pretty woman. I like this king stuff. I want to be king. So in chapter 2, the days, of, the days of David drew nigh that he should die. And he charged Solomon, his son, saying, I go my way to all the earth, be strong therefore, and, uh, you know, and all this rest that he charged him. But Adonijah had, had set himself up as king, and that wasn't a good thing. He shouldn't have done that. It says at the end of chapter 2, somewhere, I'd find it quicker if I was looking at my Bible, you know how that goes. Okay, here it is. Well, first, he says, okay, they they kind of take away the kingdom out of it because Solomon taken over. Um, okay, well... For the part where I'm at, I'm trying to look and think and talk at the same time. Um, Adonijah the son of Haggith came to Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon, and she said, Comest thou peaceably? And he said, Peaceably. He said, Moreover, I am, have somewhat to say unto thee. And she said, Say on. And he said, Thou knowest that the kingdom was mine, and that all Israel set their faces on me, that I should reign. She's kind of whining here. Albeit the kingdom is turned about and has become my brother's, for it was his from the Lord. So he recognizes that. He knew he was wrong. But all he says, I just, I just have one petition. I just want one thing. Deny me not, she said unto him, say on. And he said, speak, I pray thee, unto King Solomon, or Solomon the king, for he will not say thee nay. You're his mom, you know. See, I don't need you as the son of Haggith. But Solomon was the son of Bathsheba, and so you know, as your as his mom, go ask him this for me. 
that he may give me Abishag, the Shunammite, to wife. That's all I think he wanted the king, the kingdom for was for her. And, you know, in a way it's, you know, I don't know. There's probably some Jewish customs and all this stuff that kind of throw, throw this notion off that, you know, in reality it's probably a really, really bad thing, maybe somehow. But I think it's kind of sweet in a way. He just liked her. So when she goes to, to Dave, or to Solomon, ask on my mother, for I will not say thee nay. And when she says it, he has a change of heart. She says, Let Abishag the Shunammite be given unto Adonijah thy, thy, brother, thy brother to wife. Then King Solomon said, And why dost thou ask Abishag the Shunammite for Adonijah? Ask for him the kingdom also? See, he took it wrong. He didn't see no love of dovey in the eyes of Adonijah. He saw somebody wanting to abdicate the throne. So he's like, then he makes this stupid comment. Then King Solomon swear by the Lord, saying, God do so to me, and more also, if Adonijah have not spoken this word against his own life. The Lord heard that, and the heart, the kingdom was rent out of Solomon's hand in 1 Kings chapter well, I don't know if it's mentioned in first. I, I think it is, but we're going to be getting to First Kings chapter eleven tomorrow, Lord willing. If not, there's still that reading back in June where I read chapter eleven. If you can't wait, this is sounds disrespectful, but it's kind of a well. I don't mean it disrespectful. The big butt <laughs> channel. I mean chapters. Chapter eleven of Second. Um, Samuel, where David messed up with a woman who was the mother of Solomon. Chapter 11 of Second Kings is the chapter where it mentions that was Solomon's big error. His love of women. And hey, don't get me wrong, I love them too. <laughs> I'm not saying anything against women, just had to throw that in. Hey, I appreciate you watching. And for the question, keep them coming.